so in this slide i'll tell you what exact iot is now let me tell you the standard definition of iot so iot is nothing but it is a next generation devices that can sense the aspect of the real world like temperature lightning presence or absence of people or objects and report that real world data or act on it so you will get this fundamental definition everywhere which is quite difficult to understand so in this session what i'll do i'll try to make you understand this definition as simple as possible so what mainly i have done here i have divided this technology into few set points or i have one central point which always help me to understand this complete end to end iot application very easily so i have considered gateway as a central point iot gateway which is an actual hardware device as a central point where i'll be getting real world information from the sensors as an input to this gateway and then i'll process this sensor information on the gateway itself or if i want to store i can also store this information on gateway only and then i'll forward it to the cloud any iot cloud platform then again from the cloud what i'll do i'll forward the same information which i have taken from the gateway to any front end client that can be a mobile app um, or any dynamic web page so if front end user want to give command based on this information which he got from the sensor then he will be able to give the specific command to the actuators okay so let me uh, give you very simple example to understand this complete end to end iot definition as far as iot is concerned so home automation is the first thing which comes in my mind so let's say i have very basic temperature sensor at my home which is sending its real data continuously to the cloud or maybe with a within an interval of some threshold if temperature goes beyond 35 or 40 then it should send its information to the cloud and then front end user will get some info from the cloud as a receiver in his mobile app or web page and here in iot user will not only be monitoring the temperature he can also give the command back to the actuators for example he can turn on or off any ac or fan from the same mobile app over the cloud from any remote location okay so this is the basic definition of iot now i'll tell you or i'll walk you through complete end to end iot architecture so before understanding end to end iot architecture i just want you to understand the basic iot terminologies which are nothing but sensors actuators uh, microcontrollers gateways or uh, networking platforms or protocols apis database frameworks so what all these terminologies are and where these terminologies are residing and how these terminologies are useful for creating any iot application so that everything i'll explain you in the next slide in this slide step by step okay so sensor is going to be one of our input for iot technology and then rfid will be our second input so what what rfid is and why i have taken this rfid here as a input so this thing i'll explain you in the next slide with an example of smart refrigerator okay so as of now we can assume that sensor is the only input for iot technology so we can use different different sensor based on our and different different application and then this sensor data will be going towards the gateway so here we have used arduino intel galileo or raspberry pi lebelium as well as ibm or arm so these are nothing but our open source gateway so what are the advantages of having open source devices 
and disadvantages that everything will be understanding in our next next session which will be our hardware design consideration so this sensor data will be coming onto the gateway and then from this gateway this data will be going to the cloud all the way via network okay so network plays a very important role between the integration of hardware gateway and iot cloud platform and which is again very tricky part for implementing iot application i think many of you would would be having confusion with this only like how hardware can be integrated with the software iot cloud or iot cloud platform but believe me guys it is very easy to integrate any hardware device with any iot cloud platform so that can be uh, ibm bluemix watson or aws iot or microsoft azure like you can easily integrate your hardware with any of this cloud platform so in the network you have to understand the complete osi model with reference to the tcp ip model tcp ip stack model and messaging protocol on each and every layer in the same way from the cloud now in the same way from the cloud this data can be forwarded to the front end and front uh, this front end can be your mobile app or web page where one can monitor this data and then again in the reverse process or in the reverse way same user can give command to the devices or actuator whichever he or she wants to control so this is your complete end to end iot architecture now what we have done here we have divided this technology into three major communication level one is our d2d device to device second is d2s and third one is server to server so we have to understand the opportunities on each and every layer of every level of communication of this technology so let's start with the device to device communication level to integrate or communicate any sensor data with the gateway we need to make it wireless for making it wireless we need to use different different connectivity protocols such as zigbee ipv6 low pen wifi bluetooth and rf modules or sub1 and z wave so these are the connectivity protocols but out of this which would be suitable for our iot application for that we need to consult and or get a guidance from any embedded solution provider company or engineers who has good and good hands on experience in this part of iot technology now let's come to the device to server communication level okay so to integrate any gateway with the cloud or iot cloud platform as i have already mentioned before network plays a very important role to integrate gateway with the iot cloud platform so on a network there are there are the messaging protocols through which data can be sent to the cloud but while sending the data through hardware to the cloud there may be lot of issue or major iot concerns such as iot uh, such as security power consumption or interoperability which we have to focus in later on slides which can be reduced by doing the right selection of these messaging protocols for specific to the iot application so here at the bottom you can see mqtt coeb http lora so these are nothing but the different different iot messaging protocols but out of which our major major focus will, would be on mqtt protocol only okay and then after that for the server to server level which is the third or the last part of this technology for that what we need to do we have to host the device data on any iot specific server 
okay let's say this gateway data will be coming onto the server so we have to host it onto the server so for hosting this data onto the server we need to use any server side scripting language or framework that can be your sp.net or php java ruby python or node.js so here i have presented that we people are use working on node.js or um, i can say like we are working with on a complete mean stack and then after that here you can see that like this device data can be routed from back end to the front end mvc with the rest api okay so that front end can be my mobile app or that can be my any web page and then on the other hand this de device data can also be stored in any no sql database which uh, which is your mongodb and so once we store this device information in the database now we need to focus on to the next part of this iot technology which is nothing but the analytic okay nowadays you might be hearing about the analytics of things so why analytic is very important it is important because we cannot get the values or generate revenue by just connecting the things onto the internet revenues or values can only be taken out by doing analytics of this internet connected objects or devices that which which is stored in our no sql database different different uh, analytics can be done which can be your predictive or cognitive okay so this is your complete end to end iot architecture 